Assalamualaikum and hello YouTube. My name is Nur Muhammad from NI Watch and yes, I am back with another initial watch review. Okay, so <laughs> this the subject for today's review so, or today's initial review. Uh, it should be, it should should have been an unboxing, but you know what? I can't really, <laughs> I can't really help myself. But but just take it out from the box and yeah, this is why we have this initial review, right? So the second item, right? So the second item that I've bought from AliExpress 11.11 sale this year is this very very cool. A um, pilot watch from Addis Dive, right? So Addis Dive, which is that is the logo here. And let's check out the box. Oh, before we do that, let's do a quick wristwatch check. Today I am wearing my Casio GW M5610 BC on the combi bracelet, but and I've recently swapped the original bezel with this very very cool IP coated black color um, metal black color black metal bezel or black metal bezel <laughs> from aliexpress of course this is the first item that i've bought from the today's uh, this year's 11 11 sales 11 11 sales and this thing makes me really really want to use this casio d show all day long right so let's get back to this initial review so of course we have this adis dive right so some uh subscribers ask me what is the difference between adis dive and still dive i think they are the same right so i don't know what are the ma their marketing strategies or whatsoever but i've searched for a the most cheapest um uh, pilot watch that i could have with of course the seiko nh35 and i found out that this one is the cheapest one so i've got this for about 63 or 64 i can't remember but normally these ones will go even if you don't find it on sale it is still will cost you about 17 dollars which is very very cheap for a nh35 uh, watch nh35 driven watch right so of course we have this box with this foam inside and that is the adis dive logo and of course it will have this what do you call this museum manual let's quartz watch manual not nota bene nota bene oh my god so anyway so it is very generic so it is used for every other watch that they have in the collection of course the watch comes in this uh, plastic pouch and we have it properly wrapped on inside this plastic bag and we have the adis dive uh, warranty card which is not signed oh but oh we have this serial number okay, so i didn't know that right so anyway it's not signed so i'm not really sure whether it is usable or not so anyways they mentioned that they will have this two years warranty you know what i'm not really sure if i'm going to be using it so anyway anyway let's let's, let's leave it to that so it originally came with this black uh, leather uh, strap which i highly doubt is a le is a real leather so i think this is a pure leather so it's quite thick and very it feels very plasticky it's not that bad though but it i don't think that this is a real leather so they don't really stamp um original leather whatever so i think this is a pu leather so you can see that the, <laughs> the surface here is oh man quite horribly finished and yeah but anyway i just i i love the buckle you know so it it's it's a bit different and this i prefer brush this brush and polish finishing here and there so it's quite nice but you know what this watch deserves a much better um strap right so okay so let's go to the dimension so i've put it on this let's give it a quick wipe um so what do you get for 60 your 60 plus bucks all right so 50 plus dollar watch um of course you've got a seiko nh35 inside you have a ah they say they say a 39 millimeters dimension let's just check it out so i am a left-handed guy so using uh it on my <laughs> using the caliper on my use on my uh, right hand is a bit weird so that is 39 millimeters in diameter the thickness or the thinness i must say that is about 12 millimeters so quite thin for something that is using an nh35 so the luck to luck is a bit a bit long at about uh, 49 or 48 and a half millimeters so yeah it is a small watch that looks big in my opinion right so let's check out the weight of this thing the way how much it weighs on this um what do you call this uh vario 
uh, Cordura strap and yeah, let's see how it looks. So it's about 80 grams. So if you are using this one, it might uh, reduce that maybe to 75 grams or 70 grams, but it's still a very, very light watch. All right, so, so we've talked about the dimension, we've talked about the, the movement, and we have a fully brushed um, stainless steel 316L stainless steel case. Um, you can see that uh, the case is brushed, the bezel is brushed. I think we have, yep, we have that this bevel yeah and just at the bottom of this uh, bezel here there's a bit of polishing here there's no beveling whatsoever so we have this quite sharp finishing here not sharp that it will hurt you but it is a very very nice sharp finishing and um, this lugs here it drops down quite uh, a lot but the good thing normally when you buy anything from China this bit is a bit sharp this one is okay so yeah they do they did a bit of um, polishing here and there so to make it less sharp and yeah uh, i think that is very very nice and we have this unsigned crown so i've, I've of course um <coughs> because i've got the um the sterile dial version so i've got this unsigned crown so if you go for the uh, logo version the steel dive logo version you will get a steel dive logo etching here so that bit is a very very high polish which is a bit weird because this is polished this is brushed and yeah at the back of course I, when i when you opt for the sterile version so you will have a sterile case back uh, which is good in my opinion because i might do some engraving down here if i do it i decide to keep this one long term so i'm just gonna be putting that sticker back there so that you know what so maybe if to just make it uh, less uh, scratch right so and the dial, let's go with the dial. So this is an homage to the IWC Mark 18, right? An homage, but it's, it is not entirely similar. So what I mean by that is if you go ahead and check out the um, the IWC, IWC Mark 18, so the date wheel is straight numbered. Uh, I, mean, I mean, it's basically it is in the same line with this number two and number four but this one is a bit outside uh, it's, it's a bit outside of the dial so it's a bit to, to to the right side so for me for the balance of the watch of the design i think this one is better so <laughs> i'm not i'm not saying that this still uh, this addis dive is much better than the, the iwc but i'm saying that i just love this date placement better right so of course the hands the the our hands the uh, the, the mini and the, the our hands mimics that one and i'm not really sure about this white colored um white colored uh, second hands guys it looks a bit off but of course this one is white this the black uh, the date wheel is white so yeah it kind of um okay in my opinion so for something that for this in this price bracket and of course that dial is a matte black dial with this printed indices and you can see that the color is a bit green in my opinion and of course we have this sapphire crystal they say they have put some anti-reflective coating but if i move it around it doesn't really i think it's not really that much because normally if you they put some strong um anti-reflective coating it will have some blue hue to it but this one doesn't so still it's very very legible but yeah it's not that much all right so of course sapphire crystal is, is basically scratch proof you're gonna need a sapphire crystal on this type of watch this type of flicker watch because this is it doesn't have any protection whatsoever so this is a bit just maybe just a bit on top of the of the bezel so it will uh, you know scratch no no it will, it will not scratch because it does it has this sapphire uh, crystal right so putting it on the on my 6.75 inch wrist yeah i just love this um cordura style cordura strap from vario singapore they just they make all of my watches looks awesome in my opinion right so here is on my tiny skinny wrist 6.75 inch wrist so i've reduced my body weight a bit uh, a few this a few months back so i think maybe i might about 6.5 inch wrist now 
yeah i think it looks awesome on this particular strap and that leather the brown the cordura the uh, black dial looks <laughs> very very nice uh, yeah anyway I will do a full video review for this particular piece and of course a fashion show review uh, you have to wait uh, maybe what two weeks or even a month after for that and yeah I think uh, for the price that I've paid 62 or 3 dollars this is a much better bargain uh, if you compare uh, of with what you can get from Aliexpress right let's, let's do a quick loom yes let's talk about a bit about the loom so this one is using a c3 super luminova and you can see it glows oops i feel the camera it glows very very bright initially initially but you can't really compare it to the uh, dive watches like the seiko uh, monster or even the homage watches from the i'm dollar and uh, it's, it's not going to be as strong as that but i've tested is i've tested it out last night so i've charged it before i go to sleep at about 10 a.m and uh at, and i woke up at 4 a.m and it's still it is still visible during that time right? so anyway not that strong but it's totally usable and not a crappy lumen right so if you guys like this video guys please give, give, give uh, go ahead and give me a thumbs up we are uh, basically this channel is focusing on um, affordable watches under 200 or maybe, maybe 250 dollars so i intend to keep my channel that way so yeah that is because you know what I don't, i'm not really gonna be spending that much on watches but yeah this 250 dollars you can get a lot of you know watches for your money and this is one of it so Go ahead guys, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to press the bell notification twice and um, stay safe guys, we have quite a lot of things going out now so with the pandemic and all so please stay safe, uh, please take care of yourself and of course your family and friends and we will get together and we will uh, somehow get over this, alright so until next time, I'll see you soon, bye bye.